Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage. Well, I'm just going to be doing a quick PT Cruiser repair video today on this 2003. I think this should apply to all years. It's just a brake light switch. Just doing an easy replacement. It just clips in. No tools required. So the symptoms of this are just your brake lights sticking on and even if they're not on when you park the car they sometimes come on later. So it's definitely a faulty switch. Sometimes it can just be the alignment of the little tab that presses that button down, but I've already checked that and actually adjusted it and it didn't help. So now we're going ahead to replace the switch. So these are a single use switch. Once you install these tabs, they break off if you try to remove it again. So make sure you get everything right the first try. Okay, so the brake light switch is located just under the dash here, just above the brake pedal, just that white switch right there and when you press the pedal down there's just a little tab when you release the pedal that presses that button back up and shuts your brake lights back off we'll get the wire disconnected first there is a, a safety tab on it a retaining tab and you can see that right here so I'm just I pressed and got the first stage of the tab by pressing on the end of it then hook your fingernail or a flat blade screwdriver works and you can get it to rest so I believe that's released then you reach up and depress the tab on the plug work the plug out see and then the switch you just break it off I believe this is actually the first one that I've done but from what I can see just go like that and you can see those tabs bust right off of there see it says do not reinstall and it's got that little switch on the end and I noticed the replacement does too so uh, I'm just going to orient that switch the same on the replacement unit I didn't opt for a Chrysler I think it's standard motor products I got or something so you can see that little tab you could break the switch off first and then take the the wire off but I just figured I'd get the wire out of the way first so I don't risk pulling on the wire or anything like that. Okay, so here we go. I did uh, click that switch over to the same orientation as the other. And what I'm actually going to do is plug the wire in first now, simply because I don't want to pull on those tabs later trying to plug in the wire. Okay, so you just push it in till you hear that positive clip. Make sure you check it. And then just push that orange tab in. The new switch came with the new tab so I didn't have to transfer it or anything. And then we're just going to actually um, push it in on an angle. And then you spin it to lock it in those holes. Okay, so I'm going to have to hold the brake pedal down. At the same time. Yeah. Hold the brake pedal down. I got it positioned in there. And you just twist till it locks and then I'm just going to get under there, put my head under there and check and make sure both those tabs sprung through the little holes. But I'm going to hold the brake pedal down until I get it done. Okay, I'm just going to turn you on your side here so you can see better what I mean. See how the tabs come through on the back side? You want to make sure that they're, they're locked up into those holes. And then this is... You can see how it functions there. And then of course you want to check the brake light function. Make sure they're coming on and going off as they should be. So there we go. That's all there is to changing the brake light switch in your PT Cruiser. Thanks a lot for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have yourself a great day.